Hi Star Babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, skin care, actor life, musical theater stuff, and basically anything else I feel like talking about. So today, oh, you guys have been waiting for this forever. I'm making a rising sign series working backwards from Pisces, and I just happened to conveniently stop at Scorpio Rising, which everybody wants to see. So here is the Scorpio Rising video. I have my notes here, and let's get into it. I picked a really cool um, snakeskin top because I think it's pretty badass. I went a little full glam for you today because I know a lot of you guys are Scorpio Rising, and um, so, you know, gotta impress you guys because you're really sexy, so hey. Before we dive into Scorpio particularly, let me talk about what a rising sign is. It is the zodiac sign that was coming over the eastern horizon when you were born, and it tells us about your appearance, your first impression, how you appear to the world, how you come across. It can be a very distinct part of your personality, a very prominent part of your personality, and it can also kind of tell you about how the sort of journey that you're making in life and what lessons you have to learn about how you come across and the kind of person that you are. So Scorpio is a sign that's ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is a planet of transformation, and that is the theme for anyone with a lot of Scorpio in their chart, transformation. It's all about destruction and rebirth. Scorpio, I always think of as the phoenix because they just go through these cycles in their life and it's almost like you know how everybody's life has a different chapter but you know we, we we can see our lives as that oh that was that chapter and often we we associate them with like relationships or jobs or what type of school that we're in or something like that and that's a whole Scorpio's life you know just chapters of almost new versions of themselves they keep upgrading or you know Life is not always an upward climb, but it's just kind of like you keep becoming the next level of yourself. So I always think of reinvention and change when it comes to Scorpios, and they're very much, uh, their sign has to do a lot with destruction of the ego. So they will often come across experiences in their life that uh, are, are painful, are challenging, are conflicting, because it's almost like the universe knows that they're meant to have those experiences uh, that make them they make them a richer person in terms of of course experience and emotional intelligence Scorpios and Scorpio risings are one of the most emotional and emotionally uh, intuitive signs that there are and so I think when you hold such a power it comes with a high responsibility spider-man vibe right that was spider-man not batman i don't know <laughs> spider-man yeah spider-man um <laughs> yeah you you kind of have to go through these things that make you more emotionally intelligent so that you can use those amazing intuitive skills almost psychic skills that you have better and you can connect with people more because scorpio scorpio rising it's an energy that can be very um, isolating and it, you can feel alone and very helpless and very yeah shut off and isolated from other people so I feel like when you have these deep emotional revelations and you're reborn you you become more and more able to connect with others because at the root of human connection and things that we have in common we, we all have that emotional experience um, and we all go through suffering because life Life is not life without suffering. Now, because they have such capacity for emotional depth and understanding and exploration of themselves, well, and because they can be so, so much of them can be such a mystery and so hidden and so occult, they also usually have an interest in the occult. Scorpio rising people can be super witchy people. They can be into things that maybe we would find strange, like um, ghosts or conspiracy theories. I always talk about that when it comes to Scorpio energies. Uh, or ancient history, ancient magical history, conjuring, mythology and, and legends, things like that. Darker subjects, don't they're not uh, afraid of deep waters. Haha, <laughs> they're a water sign. Scorpio Rising would also be someone who would really be interested in human behavior, really be interested in uh, fetishes, not maybe they don't have a fetish, but they would be interested in understanding them. They might be interested in studying uh, human sexuality, things like that. They're also, you know, that that sign is heavily associated with sex and and the mysterious. So when the two combine with psychology, understanding the mind, it's perfect. It's great for for a Scorpio rising. And they also are, to me, they frequently are very intelligent people. And I think intelligent people. Uh, 
are not scared of death and are, and are usually very interested in, in human psychology and the way that we operate and no, no subject is taboo, sort of. Like, yes, humans have fetishes. It's not something to be disgusted at. Rather, let's be interested and see how those come to be and things like that. You know, Scorpio is the sign that instead of, ew, I don't want to talk about that or, oh, that makes me uncomfortable, they're going to want to dive into it even more. So, yeah, the word that comes to mind is intensity. And with that intensity comes intensity of all emotions. They're a water sign, so they are very emotional beings, uh, very in touch with their emotions, and that can come with a deep level of darkness and a deep level of, like I said, suffering in their life, challenges. Um, there's something about them that they hold themselves in such a proud, beautiful, mysterious way, but you can almost tell they've lived their life. Like they've been through some stuff. Not that they're haggard, not that they look worn down or anything, but they just look like they have a story. And they really know how to navigate deep emotions. I think Scorpio energy, Scorpio rising can be fantastic actors if they become comfortable with how vulnerable you have to be as an actor and how open and especially on camera it's all in your face and you have to let those emotions show. I do think that because of their they know every little nuance of every emotion, they felt it all, they can be great actors um, and probably great social workers as well. The thing about Scorpio Rising that I really love is that as closed off and mysterious as they can be you know they're hesitant to let you see them because that gives them a a vulnerability that gives you power um, if, if you know the, the darkness or their secrets or who they really are. The thing that I love about them is that they see you and it can be so intimidating but it is the tell of a Scorpio rising is that when you look at them, at least for me, because I can be a little shy sometimes, I kind of want to break eye contact. It's like, whoo, intense. It's really, really intense. Um, and they look like they're piercing through to your soul. Even when you're having a casual conversation, you might feel, it's like, to me, it's like when you open an oven and it's just so hot in your face. It's like, <sighs> but it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a bad feeling for me. And may, not everyone gets this, this feeling from Scorpio rising. But for me, it is just like this intensity of like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like I need a, I need a breather for a second because I feel like you're seeing all of me and you're like and maybe analyzing me, maybe judging me or maybe loving me. I, I don't know. Are you admiring me? Are you, are you envious? I can't read your face. What's going on? This is 400 degrees opening the oven right now. As a rising sign, they can come across as hard to get close to. They can come across as intimidating, um, serious, um, they're not the kind usually at the party to be the crazy one dancing on the tables and uh, you know singing like they're kind of just observers and even when they're drunk or high or whatever they they have something about them that is sober not even just away from substances I just mean like you know you have a sober appearance a very like serious intelligent to me, very intelligent appearance. Like I said, they look lived in or they look rather like they've lived a life, they've lived and they look like they have depth to them. They can hold on to experiences that have hurt them. They can often feel very shaped by betrayals or heartbreaks and I think that's why part of a Scorpio Rising's journey is to you know, die and be reborn over and over again because it's life teaching them like, okay, if you don't learn to let go of things that are in the past, I'm gonna keep creating crises in your life until you learn, close that chapter, move on. You can learn your lesson, but you don't have to hold all of that within you. As far as physically, to me, it's all in the eyes. Like I said, they just have piercing, piercing eyes. They tend to have sharp features, um, beautiful jaw bones, beautiful cheekbones, very intense eyebrows. Their eyes are like bedroom eyes, but it's not like a Libra rising like, come here, like I'm your little goddess, come here sweetie, or like, you know, a Hercules vibe. It's very like, like, oh my gosh, a Scorpio rising vibe to me is kind of like the guy who plays Lucifer. Is that the show? Yeah, Lucifer. Um, it's just kind of like, you can't resist me, I'm going to destroy your life. And Scorpios, don't get mad at that because y'all always get mad at anything I say you want to jump down my throat. You know what I mean in the funny way, like destroy your life, like yes, like break my heart. Like that Kim Petra song, I'm gonna give you my heart to break. Yes, like that's the, it's like you're hypnotized, like I'm gonna give you my heart to break, like I don't care what you do with it. 
those are what the eyes say. It's like, I could totally mess up your life or I could be the best, most ravishing thing to ever happen to you, so try me. Like, that's the vibe that they give me. Um, and they're usually very, they're just very striking people. They really, really are. Like, I think of Dita Von Tees, like one of the most striking people I can think of. Um, Zachary Quinto is a Scorpio rising and, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, intense. And look at those eyebrows too, right? Scorpio risings have... They tend to have coarse, thick hair, sort of dark hair or high contrast features. The women are often like a femme fatale sort of type. And yeah, it's not like the complete softness of a Libra rising. It's not, or like a Cancer rising. It's not super romantic. It's very different, even though they're both water signs, Cancer and Scorpio. Cancer rising is very different than Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising people can tend to have, um, kind of curvy soft bodies and I think that's where even if they're petite you know they have like more feminine bodies and that's I think where the water sign comes in but facially at least and in their gaze um it's intense it's very intense and yeah they're they're not for the weak they're a femme fatale sort of type if, if they're if they identify as female they can also be an extremely dominant sign they can have sides to them that are like really dominant and can be jealous and they can have these the darker emotions, I mean, they have a strong dose of every emotion that exists, and I think jealousy is, is an emotion, or it comes along with certain emotions, um, and so, you know, when you're playing with them, you're kind of playing with fire, but they keep it so cool, you would never know, you know what I mean? It's not like an Aries where it's all on the surface, and you're like, that guy's like a cannon ready to go off. Scorpio is like, like a sleeping viper or something. Scorpio rising people have no patience for unintelligence. They have no patience for... It's like people they think are not as smart as them or not as qualified to like live in the world or just people that they just they don't vibe with. They don't try to even pretend. It's like you just don't really exist to them, you know? They're not gonna really be mean to you unless you cross them but you will get this air of like them completely glazing over you. But to have a Scorpio Rising's full attention is like, uh, it's so intense, but it's, it's quite incredible. Um, if you can't tell, I love Scorpios and I love Scorpio Rising's. So yeah, I'm realizing my camera is having some focusing issues. So I hope this hasn't been happening through the whole video because I haven't been looking in the viewfinder. So I apologize if it has at all. Um, I guess I need to film a little closer, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, installation in my Rising Sign series. Finally made the Scorpio Rising video. Sorry, guys. I've been going through a bit of a time, so, uh, and I just had bronchitis, so please follow me on social media. Uh, I will link everything below. Enjoy the rest of your day, week, month. Love you guys. Please hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. Check out my channel and find out for yourself. And love you guys very much. Talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.